Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Friday, October 7th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple of clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around. And the candlestick right there you see will be moving around. That's because the market's still open for a few moments, as I like to do these videos when the market is still open, because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, P-E-G-Y, and did this one in the previous watch list video. And today, a very, very nice move which makes going into Friday very interesting because of this dynamic right here, another breakout has occurred. Now, yes, if you're some sort of breakout player, then technically speaking, you did miss that breakout right there, but you gotta remember the whole idea and philosophy behind a watch list, to find unique, to find interesting situations, and not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch and see how the price behaves and see if the price does behave in a way that ultimately fits your strategy. So yes, technically speaking, you missed the breakout, but the breakout in and of itself has created an interesting situation because now you can ask that question, okay, is this breakout the start of something even bigger? To be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this is a breakout that just fizzles out, but that is a two-sided coin because, well, maybe it is, and this price just keeps ripping and roaring moving forward. So yeah, a breakout is underway, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that level as it's served its purpose. But now really the next key dynamic is, okay, can it finally get up through that $5 mark which is presenting some problems right now. So that seemingly is gonna be that next key breakout point. As far as pullbacks are concerned, very interesting level down here, that tread line. So I'll change that to green to represent more so a bullish dynamic. So if you were somebody that likes to play more so pullbacks, then that's also an interesting area right there. But headed into Friday, you got the breakout. Now keep an eye on that $5 mark or a few pullback players out there, that tread line is something worth keeping an eye on. Next one here, SNTI, and very nice pattern that has formed. So as I draw this pattern, please realize I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to imply this is a special discovery or a great talent on my part. I assure you a lot of people have drawn this pattern, and I make all those comments because when a lot of people are watching the same patterns and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movement. So we have that resistance part of the pattern here. We have our support portion down here at about 640. And again, let me change that to green to represent more so the bullish dynamic. And then I'll just make the pattern all one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move up like that. And let's put our golf hole down here to make it a little bit more visual. And this would be a bull pennant pattern. So are there guarantees? No, but as I mentioned, is it valid? Is it rational to think that if the price comes up here and breaks through the top side of that pattern, that that breakout in and of itself could create additional buying pressure. That is certainly a plausible outcome that could take place from it. So if you do like to play bull pennant patterns, here you go. Next one, NIO, very rough day today. Not because of you know the, the nature of just it being red, but because from a technical point of view, there had been a good solid tread line here that was forming and that you could argue, okay, maybe things are starting to bottom out. Maybe things are trying to turn around but you can see that during that candle right there, that trend line got absolutely you know, obliterated and down the price went. So from that angle is why I would really say today was bearish uh, because of that big technical event there, which now brings about some of the next key levels that need to be mapped out. Where are some potential areas at? Well, this first one is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and headed in today, uh, 1520 was a level of support, but with the price breaking down below it, that would now be considered an area of resistance. So if there is any sort of attempted bounce here, because it gives some credit or credits to, at least the price has gone sideways here. So if this sideways movement does start to work its way up, that would be the first area of resistance followed by the next key overarching level right there, that uh, 50 period moving average currently valued at, we'll just call it 1575. As far as levels of support are concerned, nothing fancy, nothing complicated here at all. Literally just a question of, okay, well, where did the bleeding finally stop today? And that was down there at basically 17, or excuse me, $14.75. You can see several times right there, it did indeed hold. So does that mean that this is the bottom? No, I wish trading was that easy. I wish you could say that just because a price went sideways, that means for sure it's the bottom. My point here is, is it at least valid? Is it at least plausible to think that maybe some sort of bottom is forming? Yeah, that's a plausible thought to have given the sideways nature here, but we'll have to see how it continues to play out. Next one, AMC and AMC, not a great day, but from an overarching standpoint has not done anything wrong. In fact, if I draw this trend line in right here, you can see if anything, it's behaved just like you would wanna see it behave. So let me change this to green to represent more so the bullish support trend line. And as I mentioned, if anything, right down there during this late afternoon, price came down there, found some support and then bounced back up. So as of right now, from a big picture point of view, the price is still 
putting in those higher bases and that's what you want to see now there is a bit of perspective if you're some sort of day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within 15 minutes well then yeah from that angle the charts looking pretty bad because the price totally rolled back over but commenting from more so some uh, you know the vantage point of somebody that cares about the big picture point of view not a great day but like i said the price is still, still technically up above that trend line which is what you want to see if there is any sort of bounce back to the upside key level of resistance to watch will be right up there at about seven dollars and 57 cents um, so we'll see if the price can get up through there and if it does then you're going to want to continue to monitor that pink line 200 period moving average but probably getting a little bit ahead of myself because let's just first see if the price can even stay above that tread line right there so yeah today not a great day for amc but from an overall perspective you know not a terrible day either next one cei in same general dynamic here which is why i wanted to put it in the watch list where i did as amc mean, meaning depends on your perspective so if you're a day trader and you bought this morning right up there and you're wanting to buy and sell within eight minutes well then yeah from that perspective the chart looks really really bad because yes there has been a big pullback however from the big picture point of view let's just think about where these lows have been so we have a low right here from today then you have previous lows and then previous lows and then previous lows and if you envision each one of those as stair steps you can see that th these stair steps are still progressing in the upwards direction so yes the overall trend is still in the bullish direction again hence or keyword being overall because if you bought right there then yeah you're not you don't really care about the overall trend because you had a completely different strategy but yes big picture wise trend is fine in fact some people are probably pointing out and looking at that golden cross which is occurring which is you know uh, no harm there when a golden cross is occurring from the bull side of things if the price is going to return back upwards and there does seem to be a bit of a potential problem point right up there around the 24 cent mark but like i said overall assuming you do care about the big picture point of view the trend is still in the bull's favor Real quick, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering. So if you've been enjoying what you see and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used and why it's so powerful in building consistency, then certainly get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. Now, one quick note and special note, it is truly a live event. And I say that because depending on your schedule or depending on when you watch this video will determine a few things so i get it i have five kids so i understand if you have a busy schedule you already have something this evening that's fine go ahead drop me an email because the event will be recorded and once it's over i would be happy to send you a link to that recording or maybe you're watching this video friday morning and you just totally missed the event again send me an email clay at claytrader.com and i'd be happy to send you a link to the recording so that you can watch the, the event and what took place so like i said now if you can make it live then definitely get signed up signed up but if not drop me an email Next one, STAB. I like this one a lot because it presents a, a very straightforward dynamic. The di dynamic being, okay, very strong move, not only with the gap up today, but with the first 30 minutes. And then yes, the price did pull back. And during these pullbacks, initially, it always gets a bit sketchy because you're wondering, uh-oh, is, is this thing some sort of pump and dump? Was this just some sort of gap and trap where the price is now going to completely collapse? And we got the answer. And no, it does not seem like it's a pump and up does not and the price clearly did not collapse in fact there's a slight little uptrend now as i mentioned earlier and i wish i could say trading was this easy just because there's a slight uh, slight uptrend does not mean that for sure guaranteed this thing is going to make another move to the upside my point here is it becomes plausible it becomes a rational thought to have to say hey maybe this pullback is over maybe this is just a healthy consolidation before a move back upward so that'll be the first dynamic to watch is just that trend line right there uh, which is showing that there is a slight a bit of progress now that's been made after the pullback right there and then as far as areas of resistance are concerned looks like the key breakout point of this consolidation area right up there around that 26 mark so keep an eye on that but yeah overall big movement got the pullback the pullback seems to potentially be over so let's see if the price can make another move not necessarily on friday but within the next couple of days next one mots and we have ourselves another we'll call it self-filling prophecy type situation here so we have that uh, resistance tread line right there and as i mentioned with past stocks not trying to press you that's not a special skill a lot of people have drawn that level and then we have our support tread line right there so let me change that to green and then just to keep it all one color we have our resistance we have our support pretty terrible line we have our big momentum move right there let's put our golf hole down there we have ourselves say it with me another bull pennant pattern so if you like to play bull pennants if you like to play stocks down below five dollars here you go next one amd and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched the past watch those videos but if you did hopefully you remember me talking about that pink line right there 200 period moving average and wouldn't you know it that's right where the price ultimately found some resistance and then did pull back from that area but it goes back to the whole idea of okay well what was your strategy going in 
Yes, if you're a day trader and you bought that breakout and you wanted to scalp out, you know, after five minutes, well then yeah, the chart looks really bad for you because the price totally rolled back over. But from the big picture point of things, everything is still perfectly fine. I mean, whether you wanna look at the lows getting higher or if you wanna just simply look at that 50 period moving average right there with a nice upward slope to it, the price is still up above it. There's still plenty of fine dynamics going on. So overall, the chart is not broken. Nothing is uh, you know, gone wrong in the sense of from an overall standpoint. Now, of course, things have gone wrong if you bought the breakout right there as a day trader, but that's why I'm trying to you know, separate out what was your perspective, what was your strategy going in. But assuming you're not some sort of day trader that was buying that breakout, then everything's fine. Now, if the price comes down here and crashes down through that purple line, okay, now that the chart's done things wrong from multiple angles, uh, because that would be a, a big sign of weakness to fall back below that level. But as of now, yeah, a bit of annoyance that it you know, rejected back from there, but moving forward, if the price can return back up to that area and get the breakout, that would be a great sign of power. And then for you pullback players out there, uh, then yeah, certainly that 50 period moving average is worth something maybe keeping an eye on. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And this level here that I'm gonna put in, certainly, certainly I think people around the world are gonna be putting this level in and watching, myself included, as somebody that watches Tesla and trades Tesla quite often, but that tread line right there. So, I mean, if there is ever a self-fulfilling prophecy potential type point in my mind, it is this on Tesla because such a highly watched stock and such a just very in your face tread line right there. So everybody and their brother's uncle is gonna be watching that level. Now you're gonna have Longs watching it, rightfully so saying, you know what, it's bounced from there a couple of times before, I'm looking for a bounce. I totally see where they're coming from. You're gonna have uh, shorts, bearish people saying, well, you know what, if the price comes down there and breaks down through it, that would be a br breakdown of this bear pennant pattern. So we have an upside down pennant. Uh, you know, and I, I see where they're coming from, but that's why risk management matters. That's why you gotta always be ready to manage that risk because somebody's gonna be right, somebody's gonna be wrong. But the underlying dynamic here, which goes back to the philosophy of a watch list is that level there, that tread line is presenting a very unique, very interesting situation um, that a lot of people will be watching. Now, if the price does bounce back upwards, key level to watch very closely is gonna be that purple line there, 50 period moving average. Right now, valid it. We'll call it 240, 250. But yeah, I know Tesla will be, uh, I'll be watching that trade line along with, I'm sure, a whole lot of other people. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF, which allows you to make money from the NASDAQ market if the NASDAQ market goes up. So it's just a cheaper way uh, to get involved with any sort of, you know, just broad NASDAQ market uh, movements. And I wanted to end with this one just because, like Tesla, some very, very, very well-defined levels and a pattern that, once again, very well-defined so you can have those self-filling prophecies sticking out like a store thumb. So let's just get this pattern in play. I mean, look at that, just an absolutely beautiful tread line down. And then maybe you know right where I'm gonna draw this, but you have this very nice level of support right there where you can see the price has been down around that 2190 mark several times. So we'll get that marked as green. And you just have this pattern right here. Once again, like Tesla, you're gonna have shorts saying, you know, I think if that level fails, that's gonna create some pretty big momentum to the downside. I totally see where they're coming from. You're gonna have other people saying, well, it's bounced from there several times before, so if it bounces, can get up to that trot line and get the break up through it. I think that's gonna send the market and create some momentum. I totally see where they're coming from, but that's just why this pattern, you know, it's up to you and your strategy, how you wanna play it. But the underlying dynamic here is there is a very well-defined pattern here, and that's what it's all about from a watch list standpoint. And TQQQ, it gets massive volume every day. It's very highly watched. So, you know, it, it, you got, while that still doesn't guarantee anything, it does make it that much more valid to think that, yeah, there could be some self-fulfilling prophecies that come along with it. So definitely keep an eye on this pattern here and we'll see what happens with it. That wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then definitely get signed up for the free training. Or if you're, you can't make it because you have something on your schedule or you flat out miss it, go ahead, drop me an email, clay at claytrader.com, and I'd be happy to send you a link to the recording. If you enjoy these top 10 watch lists, do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care, have a good one, and hopefully I'll be seeing you here in just a few hours.